Hey everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. Got my favorites for the month of August and September. I know I'm doing two months this time because in August I only had a couple of items so I thought I'll just float it to the next month and I also have a few fails that I'd like to show you. I also like to share with you some lifestyle favorites that we've been enjoying this couple of months too. But first, let's start with the fails and all three of these are foundations. I didn't want to do a separate foundation because YouTube and the market has just been flooded with foundation reviews. So I thought I'll just put it in this video because all three of them didn't work out for me. I like to share with you this one first. It's by Kevin Aquan, the Foundation Bomb. And I got samples of it from Beautylish.com. They have great customer service. You can call them up and ask for samples of things that they have in the store that's kind of liquid, like uh, foundation and or skincare. And I was able to get three colors or shades for that matter, and they are in the shade 9, 10, 11. I swatched all three on my cheek to see which one was the better tone, and number 10 was better for my skin tone. Number nine is medium with neutral undertone, number 10 is medium with yellow undertone, and number 11 is medium deep with neutral undertone. So of course, 10 was a little bit better of a match for me. I'm gonna look at my notes here. It has a natural matte finish, it's a full coverage foundation. It has hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and avocado oil. It comes in 20 shades and it costs $52. And you also get a little brush, a little foundation brush that comes with it. Now, because I got the samples, I wasn't able to get the brush. And how I applied it, I used my finger, put it on my face, and used my own foundation brush and just spread it around. And I only tried it one time and that was enough for me. We're eight hours in now with this foundation and it's not looking so good. No, it's breaking apart. It's coming off, especially here in my forehead and here in my cheeks, pretty much my oily spots. And whatever is left there, it's settled in my pores to where you can see those white dots. And it still feels very heavy and very thick on my skin. And I don't like that feeling, like I said, especially here in this North Texas heat. Do not like to feel hot. Yeah, this foundation is not doing too well. And I kind of want it to work. I mean, I liked it when it came on. I liked the color. Now, whatever is left on my face, it looks kind of red and also those white dots in my pores. So yeah, so this foundation was a fail for me. So I won't be getting the full size. I'm kind of glad I didn't get the full size God samples because it is a pricey foundation. But yeah, this one was a fail. Another foundation fail for me was by Shiseido and it is the Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation and it has an SPF of 30. I got it in two shades, 340 Oak and 360 Citrine. It costs $47 and you get one ounce of product in here. What's kind of nice about it is that you twist the lid to open it and then twist it back to close it. Now, one thing I did notice when you twist it, you know, to open it, to pump out the foundation, when you twist it back to close, you would think that this nozzle would hide because I would think this would be easy to break off if you're traveling or if you have it with other foundations, it would just be sticking out. I don't know. All right, let's go with Citrine 360. Let me make sure this is 360. It blended out very nicely and it's sitting very nicely on my skin. It's not showing any texture. It's not settling in any fine lines or pores, at least not yet. And I would say it's giving me medium coverage at best because I can Kind of still see my melasma spots here, but it's still giving me good coverage. Six hours in with this foundation, and I don't know about it yet. I'm not real impressed by it. For one, I don't like the color. I still think it looks a little gray on me, especially from far away. And two, it's still showing some texture right here and sinking into my wrinkles around my mouth and texture right here. And it just doesn't look smooth on my face. This one was a lot better than the Kevin Aquan. It was very lightweight, but it settled in my pores and it gave me a great cast. And I believe because this one does have an SPF of 30, they tend to give me a gray cast on my skin. Both of these shades would work, I guess, depending on the time of the year. 340 Oak, let me look here, will give you golden with a slight olive tone for medium skin golden undertone. And 360 Citrine, balanced with a slight olive tone for medium tan skin neutral undertone. So both of these would work depending, like I said, on the year, but they still gave me that gray cast, which I just don't like. 
So I'm afraid that this foundation was a fail for me, so I will be returning them. Another foundation fail for me was this one by Laura Mercier. It's more like a tinted moisturizer, and it's called Tinted Moisturizer Natural Skin Perfector with a broad spectrum of an SPF of 30. So another one with an SPF of 30. Now the color in this one was really nice. I believe it's 4N... No, 4W1 Tawny. They described this one as olive warm. I got this one because I wanted something for every day if I'm just going out for errands, just to put something on my face to even out my skin tone because this one is a very sheer, or this one does have a very sheer coverage. Now this one I did kind of like in the beginning, but then I started breaking out after wearing this foundation or this tinted moisturizer. And also it gave me those white dots. It was settling in my pores so... Yeah, I'm gonna also be returning this one. I did like the texture of it. It did feel very nice. It felt like a moisturizer I was putting on my skin, but with it breaking me out and giving me those white dots, that is a big no-no. So, so far, my favorite tinted moisturizer is the one by Jouer, and I believe it's in the shade Bronze. And I'm afraid they're gonna discontinue that, so that's why I was trying to find something else. But this one didn't cut it. Now, I know these aren't really a full in-depth review of these foundations, but there are so many videos out there that you can see. But I can tell you that these three just did not work for me. Now let me show you the one that did work for me and I'm wearing it right now. It is the one, where is it? It's the one by ABH and it is the Luminous Foundation. I did a video about this one, so I'll link it down below so you can see a really good in-depth review of this foundation. But in that video, I was using this shade right here, 365C. It's a little bit more of a cooler undertone, and that one is a little bit more my summer tone. So I went back to Sephora and I got a couple of samples. I got 360C and 355N. And the one that I'm wearing right now is 355N, and I think this one's going to be really nice for me going into the fall and winter. This one has a little bit more of a better price point than the others. You get one ounce of product in here and it costs $38. And I really do like that it does give me a little bit of a luminosity, but without making me look oily or shiny. Now probably around the five hour mark it did do that, but let me show you what I have been using. Another one of my favorites, also by ABH, and it is the Loose Setting Powder. Yeah, that's what it's called, the Loose Setting Powder, and I got it in the shade Deep Peach. And I kind of like it with a tint because some of the white powders, it does give me a white cast, a little gray cast on me. So when I saw it, it comes in this shade right here, Deep Peach. I believe it's there's five shades, and this is the fourth one. This one just does give me a little bit of a nicer color to me. And one day I was wearing this foundation 355 in with this powder. My husband comes home and he says, your face looks brighter. So yeah, I think when I return those foundations that I showed you, I'm going to pick up this one in 355 in and keep this one because this one will be great for the summer. Also, you do get 25 grams of product in here and it costs $36. Now that is all with the foundations. Let me show you the other products. So this one is also by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it is the collaboration that they did with Jackie Ina. I love this eyeshadow palette. I love the deeper tones in this palette because you can really see it on my skin tone. And what I'm wearing today are these two matte brown shades, ginger and edges in my crease. And what I have on my lid is this bronzy metallic shade, Zam. And then also to deepen out the outer corner, I have this shade, Credit. And I just love this palette. You can create many looks with this palette. So yeah, I really do like the colors and the tone in this palette. This costs $45 and you get 14 shades with a mixture of mattes and metallics and shimmers. And the mattes are very pigmented. And again, I like the how deep these tones are, these shades are. And I believe this is limited edition, but I can still see on Sephora that they still have it. So it's still available if you want to get this palette. And this shade right here, Lituation, I think that is one of my favorite shades. It's kind of a, a taupey, purpley, metallic sh uh, shadow. So yeah, I really do like the color store in this palette. Now that is all the AVH products that I'm going to show you, the foundation, the powder, and the eyeshadow palette. Now let me show you this mascara. I got this one in a Look Fantastic subscription box. It's by Deuce and it's called the Punk Volumizing Mascara. Wow! This mascara made my lashes longer and thicker without it looking clumpy and I really do like 
the wand that's in here. It is a really big, thick wand. Looks like a Christmas tree there. I liked it so much that I bought the full size. I haven't opened it yet because this one still has quite a bit left. I've been using this now for a couple months and yeah. The full size does cost $24 give or take but you can get it off Look Fantastic and they have sales all the time. And I kind of like how this tube looks. It's very funky looking. Even though I have the full size, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if it's going to be the same as this one because sometimes when you get a travel size or a sample mascara, it doesn't give you the same kind of effect as the full size. So hopefully this one will, but I just don't want to open it yet and let it go dry. But this mascara, I really do like what it's been doing to my lashes. It gives me that thick, long volume lash without looking clumpy and without it... Um, What's the word? Flaking. It doesn't flake on my face. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. But yeah, I really do like this mascara and I'm kind of glad I got it in the Look Fantastic box too. And I think that's how you say the brand. Deuce. D-O-U-C-C-E. I know I've been having trouble saying that brand, but I think that's how you say it. And it's called the Punk Volumizing Mascara and really do like this one. I also like to layer it with my uh, Lancome Mr. Big. Those two together, wow. Wow, I really do like this. what this mascara has been doing to my lashes. All right, a car just came and parked across the street and the sun is hitting it. It just parked right at that spot where the sun is hitting it and giving me that glare that you can see. But we're almost finished with this video, at least I hope we are. But let me go ahead and continue. So hopefully as time goes by, it will just kind of move out of the way. But until then, we'll just keep going. What is wrong with these cars today? <laughs> but anywho, that was it for makeup. Let me show you a product that I've been really enjoying for my hair. And I also got this one in a subscription box and this one was by the Detox Market, the Detox Box. And I got this one a couple months ago and it's by Josh Rosebrook. Josh Rosebrook, sorry, Rosebrook. And it is the serum spray. And I spray this on my damp hair and when I started using this I noticed that my hair was feeling very soft. And luckily I still have the card here that tells me about this uh, spray. Save time and your tresses with this all-in-one heat protective styling fluid made with baobab seed oil and neum. This formula nurtures the scalp, encourages healthy growth, and imparts serious smoothness and manageability. And I've been really noticing that it does that with my hair. And this has been my favorite. You get four ounces of product in here. And let me look, I believe it's $28. Yes, $28 for this product right here. And I really do like this. Again, I just spray it on my damp hair, massage my hair and scalp, dry my hair and style as usual, and it just feels softer. Next, I'd like to mention a channel that I've been really enjoying. It's been over a year since I've been watching her. Her name is Nicole Chantel, and I'll link her channel down below. She is a wonderful, she's very talented with makeup. And during the month of October, she does 31 Days of Halloween, where she does quick, fast tutorials on how to do the zombie look, the from the dead look. These really nice Halloween makeup. I mean, she is really talented, and I hope you guys check her out. Especially if you're looking to do something for Halloween, you know, do some kind of a scary witch or zombie or whatnot. Let me tell you, she is really talented and I really do like watching those. How, how she can come up with that with just makeup. I mean, she is amazing. Again, I'll link her channel down below. Her name is Nicole Chantel. She is really amazing, very talented. And again, I hope you check her out. The next thing I'd like to tell you about is a movie that we enjoyed. It's Downton Abbey, the movie. Oh my gosh. If you watch the series, if you love the series, I sure hope that you watch the movie because it is really such a really good movie. It made us cry. It made us laugh. It's just a really nice movie. It's like the TV series, the PBS series. It's just an amazing movie and I wish they'd make more movies like that. They pretty much have the original cast from the TV show and it's just a really nice movie. Again, it made us laugh. It made us cry. I mean, it was a really good movie, really good TV show that we started watching about a couple months ago. We were so excited that they made a movie 
and we were there first to watch it and it's just I don't know it's just a really nice movie it's just a feel good really good movie I don't know how to explain it but it's we really enjoyed it and I just want to share that with you guys the last thing I like to let you know about it's not anything beauty any makeup or skincare like that sometimes I like to put in you know something a little different in here and it's wine and it's all from the same winery I have three bottles here two reds and a white a Chardonnay and is by Chateau Saint Michel really do like this wine I know how many times am I gonna say really maybe we need to have a drinking game of how many times I say really or good <laughs> that would be fun but these have a great price point and they taste very good I know with wine everyone has their own own taste own sense or what what not but with this one the Chateau Saint Michel like I said it has a great price point and it tastes very good when you cook with it oh I said good let me take another let me take a sip not another one I haven't started yet <laughs> but we really like to cook with this wine it really does bring the flavor of the food especially the Chardonnay this one we cook it with chicken and Thanksgiving is coming up and I use this for my gravy it just brings out the flavor I'm gonna look on the website to tell you a little bit more about the Chardonnay it has white ripe pineapple and butterscotch flavors and a rich creamy texture we're not really into white wine we like more of the red but this one with chicken tastes really good you can find this at the grocery store I don't know maybe 10 bucks not bad at all then I have the Merlot and the Cabernet and these cost I don't know under $15 I mean it's a really good price point and they taste really good Chateau Saint Michel it is a winery that's in Washington State and they really do have a great price point with this wine and they taste really good and I want to say that they describe the, the reds the Merlot and the Cabernet as rich deep fruit flavors let me look here yeah the wine offers a dark fruit aroma and flavor with enhanced richness and concentration to the wine I mean I am not a wine connoisseur or a sommelier about wine I just like what I like and I'm sure you like what you like but I just wanted to mention this you know just to kind of throw something different out there if you've heard about it and don't like it that's fine that's fine and then the Merlot they describe the Merlot as let me look this Merlot offers a ripe berry fruit aroma and jammy flavors it is a full-bodied style with a round supple finish I mean yeah again I just wanted to mention this you know just kind of mix it up a little bit but these wines I love to cook with these wines they bring out the flavors in the food and then drink with it that is so good maybe I need to tally up how many times I said good in this video because I probably said it enough to drink a bottle but we won't go there or maybe we will but I just won't show it <laughs> well all right you guys I hope you enjoyed this favorites and fail video I know with the fails with the foundation it wasn't that much of an in-depth review but again I just didn't want to go on and on and have so many videos out there about these foundations so I thought I might just condense it into one and then throwing in some makeup and hair care and channels and movies and wine and then we had the car in front with the glare shining through and the traffic going by but it's all good <laughs> But really, thank you again for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. You all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.